Good morning, friends, and happy Monday. Uh, we are on our way to Ringgold, Georgia to sell my car to our old, our neighbor, our old subdivision, a uh, guy that we used to hang out with all the time. He and his wife are buying my car, and I am super excited to get a new one, but sad that I'm parting with my little Kia here. I've absolutely loved this car, and I don't know if it's just me, but sometimes, you know, people get attached to certain things, and I'm like seriously attached to my car. I love my car. I have loved this car ever since I got it back in 2011. It has has been the best car I have ever ever owned and that's why it wasn't hard for me to decide to actually go with another Kia knowing that I found a good car because I was gonna get like a, a Nissan Murano I was gonna get a Mazda um, <clears throat> just I almost thought looked into a Honda I almost looked into a Ford Edge but I just love the Kia I love that they stand behind their a quality of their vehicles. I love the fact that they actually put a brand new engine in this car last year. If you guys remember, um, I, there was a recall on engines and stuff and mine was part of it. <clears throat> and something happened with like the oil issue and anyway they went ahead and replaced the entire engine for me last year. And remember that was around the same time that I had the Dodge, oh my gosh, what was that thing? A Dodge, Dodge, I don't even know what it was. But anyway, and that was the one that I took across country when I went to California last year with my in-laws. So um, yeah, anyway, and my car has ran perfectly fine ever since with no issues whatsoever. And then of course in the window the other day, which I mean, it's, it's wear and tear and maintenance and stuff that you have to have to do and put on your vehicle. So anyway, so with that being said, um, I'm excited to go get my new car tonight. I really haven't decided if I want to get a white one or if I want to get the dark gray one like Brian's. I I really like that dark gray. I really, really do. But I also like the white. I don't know. I just haven't decided yet. Both of them are the Seltos EX 2021. Both of them have all the bells and whistles that I want and it, the only thing that the um, Seltos doesn't have um, is the that when you're parked at a red light or whatever and it just like shuts off which is fine and then it doesn't have the full size you know moon roof it just has the partial which is fine too I'm, I don't have a problem with that but those are just things that I make, wanted to make sure that I had in my car um, you know so those are all just kind of like you know standard things now I suppose but anyway um, I've been chatting with the guy at Kia regarding it he cannot get me the gray one tonight um, until we like have a deal on paper but he can get it for me tomorrow Oh, and he could have it here for me by tomorrow so it's like oh my god I don't want to drive all the way back over there but they have the white one there and I can bring that home tonight so I don't know we shall see we shall see um, Brian's also obviously he's gonna go with me because he has to drive me over there to get everything and help me sign the papers and all that good stuff so anywho, but we are on our way to Georgia and um, I just I'm laughing at the fact that my car is going to be back in the hood over there so that's gonna be kind of funny she's gonna be like yay I'm back home <laughs> and really this is her home because this is where she came from but anyway it's been a great car I've loved my car I'm gonna miss her but it's time it's time for a new one I know oh wow that wiped off I didn't realize that that wiped off I must have wiped that off anyway it's supposed to say like 186,000 on there I gotta make sure that I tell Rich that but anyhow okay well I'm gonna go and um, I will see you guys a little bit later alrighty guys it is the next day and we dropped my car off in Georgia with our neighbor our old neighbor and then we had lunch with them at Cracker Barrel and then we drove home and Brian answered a few emails from work and then we left and we went and picked up my new ride. 
and I am loving it so very much. It is so awesome to just drive around in a new car. I haven't had a new car in like 10 years. Oh, come on. Seriously, I was going to get Taco Bell, but like the line is like forever long. It's like, really? Really? Let's see how long I have to sit here and wait because if it's like forever long, then anyway so yeah this is my new ride i'm super excited about it it's the night it's the 2019 it's a 2021 kia seltos it's the very the very new the brand new um suvs that they have and so far i am loving it i have programmed all of my stuff to it which everything kind of picked up on it anyway which is so nice um this is like the front little you know navigation area or whatever for it and obviously you can see i have 80s sirius xm on the 80s okay so i don't think this is gonna i don't think i'm gonna wait here for food because it's gonna take forever this is a brand new taco bell they just opened it up so and anyway i just think it's so cute i love my car it's so adorably cute and yay it has like a temperature and you guys can see i'm freezing myself out of here because i always get super hot so i'm freezing myself out i went and got my nails done today i will probably go do a whole like i'm gonna you know i'm showing you guys the car a little walk through anyway and it has the um driver assist it's, it shuts off it just shut off now because i'm sitting here parked um, but it's super, super cute. All of this stuff is like on the steering wheel, the cruise control, um, the answering the phone, turning up the volume, turning down the volume, all that good stuff. Changing channels is all right here. Um, it just started up again. I don't know if I'm ever going to get used to that. But anyway, then um, I have on here like my Waze, my Sirius XM, all my phone, my contacts, all this stuff on here. It is just it's so fun it's so awesome and i'm just so happy to have it um it's got the awesome sunroof up here it doesn't have the full sunroof so it doesn't go all the way back but it just has this one right here which is nice i just have this part open so i can close it you have to close that manually or you can open it manually but this is power like the window itself is power but that's so fun i haven't played with any of this stuff yet so i really don't know what it is um i was able to say no to an email or a text earlier so that was awesome it does pick up on text you can read them here the thing he reads it for you um oh there we go i'm glad he's all right that guy was trying to get out like and he's going the wrong way um but anyway so this is like the back seat area of it it's got the obviously the little seats back here and then the hatchback in the back I just went um, to Publix as well and I got a few things. We're having salmon tonight for dinner so I needed to pick up some salmon patties, um, fresh salmon patties. So I did that and then picked up some asparagus and then they were having Cokes, buy two, get one free. So I did that. Got some 7-Up because I've been missing my 7-Up in the morning. I mix like a cranberry juice with my 7-Up. That way the cranberry juice isn't so acidic and then that's what I drink in the morning sometimes. I was doing orange juice but that was giving me an upset stomach. So I kind of switched to like um, the 7-Up so it's a little bit, you know, carbonated. So it's good. Um, and then I picked up some chips and yeah, I'm just super excited. We're going to Florida this weekend. I'm excited about that. I'm excited about going to the beach, sitting at the, in the sand, seeing my kid. My son's going to meet us there. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited about my car. I'm excited about it all. So fun. So awesome. I love it. Alrighty guys, so I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a little bit of a tour of the car now that I am back home. So let's start off with the front of the car and I'm going to give you guys some side views. So this is the car. This is, like I said, the 2021 Kia Seltos in the white color and I know a lot of you guys were asking I thought you were going to get black I kind of just changed my mind so this is the Seltos real pretty color love the Kia This is like the back end of it in the trunk 
And then down here, obviously, is where they store the extra tire and extra storage. But it's really nice. And then these seats lay down as well. So I already had the seats laid down just to see what it was like. And it's very, very roomy. So I like that. Plenty of room for luggage and a small cooler. And that's like the whole point of having a little SUV. So that's so nice. And then over here, this is the back seat. Again, these seats lay down. It is so nice. I haven't even pulled this down yet to see if it has. Yep, so this has little cup holders as well. It also has an, a USB port right down there. So anybody who's riding in the back can actually use a, a cord to charge their phone if they needed to. But it's got black leather seats, so I was really happy about that. And then... This is the passenger side. We like all of the like really cool detail on it right here. And then we like this detail as well. And then it turns into like black smooth right there. And obviously it's very, very shiny. So I kept wiping it down because there was some fingerprints on it and there's some fingerprints on it right now as well. But anyway, again, leather seats, like it. They recline back, um, forward and back. And then of course slide up and down, obviously. And then, I don't know what else, let's see. This opens up, I already have a, well I had a pair of sunglasses, I'm wearing them right now. And of course then it's the keyless remote or keyless start, so you just have to put it right there, make sure it's with you, and then you just push start over there, which is really, really nice. And I showed you guys it has a sunroof, which is nice as well. All wheel drive, cool rims. This is what the front of it looks like. So it's super pretty. I'm thinking I might get like a bug guard and put a bug guard right here. And I'm gonna find a place where I can go get my windows tinted even a little bit darker because this is not dark enough for me. I want them to be a little bit darker. And I don't think that these windows, the front ones are not um, tinted. So I want to get those tinted. But this is a button right here too where it unlocks automatically if, when you have the key if it's locked. And you can start it up too um, without even being in the car. So that's really nice it has all the little gadgets right here to move your mirrors around um, power windows power locks all that good stuff and then inside of here this is how we start it and I already have my radio synced but this is the radio and this is the air which I'm gonna turn on Whew. So anyway, it has Waze, so because it's all connected to my phone, so this is the Waze, so that's the navigation that I use for traveling. And then it has the media here, which is Apple CarPlay. And then it shows up all of my, my Sirius XM. So I don't know if, it, there we go. So then I have all of my channels like programmed in here. Um, so I have 80s, 90s, 70s, 70s, 80s, 90s, Pop 2K, Pop Rocks, all that good stuff. Hair Nation, Country, and then like some smooth jazz. And then let's see, what else does it have here? Um, you can change all of this stuff too. So advanced settings, steering wheel mode, all that stuff, phone. I can go to my phone. So let's see if I can get back to my phone. Let's see, phone. Right here, it has all of my um, contacts in here. Anybody who I need to contact is all right there. It has recents, it has contacts, it has a keypad so you can dial if you need to, and then of course voicemail. So I don't need to do anything like that. And I just go back to my favorites because it lists all the people that I call on a regular basis. And then right here is all of my like apps that I that I have on here. So basically, let's see where did it go. Here's navigation. I guess it helps you find food. Let's see what does that mean? Searching food. Oh, okay. So that's a Mexican restaurant, Bushwhackers, Buena Vista Mexican Totoras. Oh, cool. So China, China Cook, Yoshi Sushi Fusion, Mandarin House. Awesome. So it kind of lists all the places in here in town that we could go to okay cool i love that that's really cool so how do i get out of that <laughs> uh okay let's go back to this and then it places for drinks bushwhackers wagon wheel voodoo lounge mellow mushroom chips and salsa diamonds okay cool 
get out of that and let's go back to this and then this side has the Google Maps, the Sirius, and the Waze. And of course that's phone, my music from my phone. So anything that is on my phone right now, um, all of my music shows up on this. So this, and it sounds really awesome in here too. It's got a pretty good sound system. Usher. Bad Guy, Billie Eilish. Or Eilish, yeah. Ariana Grande, I love that song too, Seven Rings. And then Shaka Khan. So now you guys kind of know what I listen to a lot. But anyway, um, let's see what else. Oh, and then it has the Google Maps, which again, I don't really use Google. And this again, my music on my phone. And then, let's see, here's my playlist. So it gives all of my playlists. This is all for my phone, so classical music, top rated, recently played, top 25, my old school. So everything shows up on here just like it does on my phone, which is so freaking cool. I absolutely love that. So I think it's awesome. And it gives the calendar right there. <laughs> it doesn't have any events for today. Um, then settings, and then it gives Kia now playing, and then messages, so I could pull up all of my messages. So um anything i had where i was talking to my friend sandy earlier from brandon and um, my realtor so anybody that i was talking to i have all of their texts right there which is really really cool as well and then let's see what else the now playing then my phone of course i showed you guys all of that and then yep and that's it right there so the, i just think that's i just think it's so cool just to have everything right there and then of course down here it has the air conditioner you can lower it and high make it however warm or cold you want it has heated seats on both sides so this side has a heated seat option and that one has a heated seat option this one has that cruise control where you can um, push that if you're like going down a mountain or going down a hill and it kind of doesn't speed you up which is nice it has three settings of a a drive mode it has the sport mode it has smart mode and it has a normal mode so when I change these up here if you guys look it'll show you and I'll show you guys what it looks like so when I was changing that button you can see right there it says um, smart sport and normal so you can change it to either one of those for the drive mode so I kind of like it in the sport so um, I think that's about all the features it has that assist to on each side so it'll tell you if you can or can't like get over and it'll pull you over to the side if you can't get over because there's somebody there and then this one is to turn it off so when you are parked at a red light the car will stop to save on gas save on save on emissions and stuff like that so that was that one and it has so many gadgets here for like your um, windshield wipers and stuff like that, which is nice. And I think that's about it. I think that's about it. And uh, I love it. It's got, like I said, it's got the sunroof. So here's the sunroof being open. It kind of has that like little crack right there. And then you can open it all the way just by pushing it back just like that. So there's the roof open. Nice. Very, very nice. And then you can close it which is awesome there we go nice I love it and this light is on for some reason and I don't really know why let's see oh that light went off maybe because I'm sitting here I don't know I don't know why the light is on that is so strange huh I think I guess I have to figure that out but anyway so that's it and it has something right here too that I need to figure out but I don't know what that's all about I read it earlier so I'm going to have to figure that out because I think it's the thing about the remote, but I don't know if that's for the remote or not. I wonder if it's just for the, the mirror, but we'll figure it out. But anyway, I really like it. I'm really happy about it. Um, it's just so pretty inside. And like I said, I haven't had a new car in like 10 years. So this was like so cute and I love it. So I, I chose the white one because I just, they were going to order the black one for me and the black one wasn't going to be in until today. Whoa. And the black one wasn't going to be in until like today. And I was just like, you know, I don't want to wait. And I'm fine with the white. It was going to be between the white and the black one or the gravity gray. And so I was perfectly fine with having the white one. Not a problem at all. So I don't know why that light is still on. Oh, you just touch it. What? That is so cool. Okay, so I did this. Can you guys see this? 
touching it, touching it, off, off. That is so cool. Wow, fancy. All I have to do is touch that light and it comes on and off. It's cool. There's some other buttons or things that are lit up right there and I just can't see what they are. So interesting. Huh, I don't know what that is. Maybe that lights up too and I just don't know. Hmm, but anyway, so there's a little, there's a little tour of my car. I hope that you guys uh, enjoyed it. We're gonna go get Brian a haircut. So the vehicle will be turned off automatically in 28 point or 28 minutes. Oh, that's interesting. That's cool to know. That's really cool to know. All right. Oh, and it just restarted. I mean, it just restarted the thing again. So it'll be shut off in 29 minutes now. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Awesome. Now, in order for all this stuff to pop up in my car, like in order for my navigation and my Sirius and all my music to um, show up in the car, is my phone has to be plugged into the USB. If I unplug my phone, then it does not show up. So my phone has to be plugged in to the USB, which is right down there, which is which is fine. And then it actually has right down here is a place where you can actually charge your phone as well. So it has an automatic like charger right down there for your phone, but my phone, if I if I unplug it, um, well, I could probably take off this plug because it's actually a pretty big plug <laughs> for my phone. But if you unplug it, you see all that stuff just went away. You can put your phone in there and it actually is charging your phone right back in there. So that's really nice. Brian's actually has that as well. And I utilize his quite often. But it's funny because it usually shows that it's charging and I haven't seen it yet like show up that it's charging. Usually Brian's shows up here that it's charging and this one is not so I was just curious. So see all of my stuff has gone away because my phone is not plugged in. So and this is the user's manual as well. Scan the QR code with your mobile phone to access manual for features. Keep the display bright and avoid glare to scan correctly. Oh, isn't that interesting? Do, 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 do. Let's try that. All right, so if I scan the QR code, is that what that is doing? Yeah, openkia.com. Oh, that's awesome. And so I just hit this and it'll probably will open it up in my phone. Oh, so far I can't open the page because I'm not connected to the internet. <laughs> well, that didn't work out too well now, did it? That's funny. So how am I supposed to be connected to the internet if I can't? Um, that's interesting. Well, that doesn't work very well. I'll have to figure that out. Maybe I have to be closer in my garage or something where the Wi-Fi is at, but. All right, so if you guys remember the other day, I told you guys that I ordered a like shadow box that I could put all of my tickets and stuff in that I've accumulated over the years. Well, this is what showed up. This little teeny tiny box. It is the smallest little shadow box I've ever seen, but I was able to fit a bunch of my like tickets and stuff in there. And um, it's just too small, but it's, fine for what I need it for but I love it it is okay and I actually put it right back here behind um the buggy because it just looks really cute back there and I love it so so neat and then back here is um this poster I got this poster in mail because I ordered the poster for in here and wait till you guys see this poster it is the cutest poster <laughs> oops let's get it out of there without ruining it this one. Oh, come on. It's it's don't just fly sore and it's Dumbo. How freaking cute is that? So I'm going to get that one framed. And then the vintage Mickey Mouse one is in here as well and it's kind of like the same colors as the Dumbo one. So I got both of those in, which I'm super excited about. I need to go and put those take those to like Hobby Lobby or Michaels or something to get personally framed. And then I got a couple of more things and I'm gonna go show you guys what that is. All right, so this is a poster that I'm gonna get framed as well. And this actually goes upstairs in the bathroom, in the theater room, obviously, because it's got stormtroopers on it, but it's a stormtrooper and company bath soap. How cute is this? And basically it says 1959 established and then it's just wash your hands. So I'm gonna get this framed as well. And then, 
Remember when Hollywood Studios had their little like art class and you could go in there and draw a picture? Well, Brian and I did it one time and this is what we drew, which is Olaf and Brian's is right here. And it's so fun, I love these things. And I'm gonna actually get these framed as well. Yeah, Brian's, it's so cute. And I'm gonna get these framed as well. Of course, I signed mine, Educato 10-2014. That was a long time ago, six years ago. And then I have all of these down here as well that I'm gonna get framed. So let's see if I can open this one. This one is open. Um, what's this one? Oh, here it is. This is, oh, here it is. The, um, it says, there's a great big beautiful tomorrow shining at the end of every day. So I'm gonna get that one framed to put it in my room as well. I love that. So cute. Get it back in there. And then this one is... What does this one say? Oh, this is the other print. It is a print of the castle, which I'm going to get... Is it No, this is the figures of Mickey. So I'm going to get this one framed as well. Um, December 16th, 1930 up there. So I'm going to get this framed. And then there's one more. I don't want to ruin this. Don't want to ruin it. And there's one more and it's right here. And this one is of the castle. Let's see if I can get it open. Oh, hang on. This right here is like, you know, a blueprint of some sorts of the um, Cinderella's castle there. And I absolutely love it. So I'm going to get this one framed as well. I think this is like an 11 by 14. So I'm going to get this framed and hang them in my room. So I just think all of these are super cute. These are probably going to go upstairs. Or they might go into my room. I don't know. We'll see. But I just I just think they're cute. Or I might hang one in my room and hang one in Brian's room. Or I might hang them upstairs. What do you guys think? Should I hang them in my room? Should I hang one in my room, one in Brian's room? Or should I hang them upstairs in the movie room? So let me know what you guys think but i think it's gonna look cool once i get them all framed actually brian and i are getting ready to leave to go get a haircut and hobby lobby is right next door to where he's gonna get a haircut so i think i might run into hobby lobby and see if i can find two 11 by 14 frames and see if i can get those um olaf drawings put in the frame so i think that's what i'm gonna go do so that's it yay so after measuring this, this is not an 11 by 14. It's like a 10 by 15 and an eighth. It's like, what? So I'm trying to figure out what kind of frame to get then that would this would fit in. I don't even know. Mm, so I'm not sure. Hmm, I might have to end up taking it with me, but then I don't want it to ruin either. Oh man. I know it has to be bigger than 10 by 15 and a half or 15 and an eighth. So we'll figure it out. Alrighty, change of plan. So Brian had me cancel his hair appointment and we're gonna do it either tomorrow or Wednesday, no, tomorrow or Thursday. And we just decided to go ahead and make dinner. He's outside starting to grill now. And I bought some fresh salmon today at Publix. So we're gonna have salmon and asparagus for dinner tonight. So that is gonna be our dinner. Very quick, very simple, and very easy. <laughs> Remember earlier when I said I needed 7-Up because I actually mix my 7-Up with like my cranberry juice? Well, I actually mix it with my cran mango as well. And if you guys have not tried this cran mango juice, I highly suggest you try it. It is so, so good. And our dinner is almost ready. Brian is out there checking on it. And we're going to sit down and have dinner. We always eat outside. 